Bachelor's season finale airs this coming Sunday, August Thursday, oh, at 30th at 10 p.m. on HBO, at Rob Corddry on Twitter. Joining me here in person, Rob Corddry, good to see you, brother. How good are you? you, man, great. I am really doing good. great. Congrats on the success of Ballers. Thank you so much. It is uh, a great show, and it's been crushing it. And uh, you got to work with Dwayne, I right? I got to not work with Dwayne. Not, we call him Dwayne, or you uh, call him The Rock? Sometimes or? I'm even known to call him DJ. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I imagine, I imagine being with him in Miami shooting a show like this has got to be it's pretty fun it, stuff. It's one of those things that like never gets old. Mm -hmm. you, every day you get to work and you're like, that's The Rock. Right. <laughs> and I'm his boss. Right. It's very strange. Right. And it's been it's been something that uh, that did you go ahead and seek anybody out in the real world for your counterpart to see what uh, what this life was like, or are you just playing it the way you think it would be? Played? Yeah, no, I'm just. Okay. I, it's not really the life so much as that character. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm I usually play a very a shade of that guy, right. so I kind of knew what I was doing there. But there have been on Twitter, I've gotten a couple financial sports financial managers from Miami saying, hey. Yeah. Hit me up and I'll give you some the lowdown. But I'm not really even. I'm not sure how much that matters. Well, you know. block those people on Twitter right away, right? So you right just away. That's, that's right what away. you do. I quit Twitter. <laughs> you did not no, do I that. No, I did not. I did. You not. can't do that. I can't do it. You can't. I can't. Because you'd I be you would be depriving people like myself, Rob. We I don't. Have I that. I have a hate hate relationship with Twitter right now. I'll get back. Okay. Good. I'll we, get back. We need to have I you apologize. back on. So, what do you think of uh, the Deflate Gate situation? This is your this is your team, correct? Go the ahead. Patriots are your team. Go ahead. Give me give me your give me your take on it. What do you think? I uh, well, I'm not one of these uh, guy these crybabies uh, who who just try and defend the the alleged act alleged. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do I do think that like so re really what he's guilty of right is is deleting all those text messages, which is suspect. But if anyone besides the federal government mm -hmm. wants to see my text messages, I'm deleting them too. I don't <laughs> care what's on them. Like, I don't even have anything threatening on them, but they're right. gone. Right, exactly. You know, I don't want any of that, especially my employer. No way, I'll take a... I don't think he was expecting that kind of suspension. No, I don't believe so either. Was. Well, he said that he wasn't even told that he could in that sort of you know, dialogue that if he didn't give up his phone, he wasn't told you're going to get the hammer. Yeah, right, down right. So what is he getting punished for, really? Taking the hammer to the phone, I think. Taking maybe, the hammer, it could, it could have been, hammer the I phone? I don't know. I'm trying to wonder. wonder that what, would be, I would then be more suspect. Wouldn't that, <laughs> I would actually like to see that sort of <laughs> yeah. moment, just taking a hammer to he his cell phone. set it on fire and threw it off a bridge. So how do you think Jimmy Garoppolo is going to do? What do you think of that? I have, how can anybody predict what anybody on the Patriots is going to do. It's impossible. Uh, it's it's comical the uh, how tight lipped they are. Yes, you know. I know. It, it, but it, but I love it too. Mm -hmm. Like, I think I'll admit this as a Patriots fan that mm -hmm. I, I have a love hate relationship with with Belichick. You know, like, really. I think he's the best coach right. that ever ha, has ever been. But I also think that like. He's, uh, it's so frustrating. Mm -hmm. It's so frustrating. Because you want more information yeah, from Yeah, but I also admire him for that. Mm -hmm. You know, he's just such a uh, football robot. Well, he's one of those guys, too, that if you ask him a yes or no question, you're dead. Don't ask him a yes you or don't. no question. You can't go in the, you can't. No. And, they, and they sometimes go, like to go in through the the uh, the side door by by throwing rose petals at no, his feet, saying, you know your either. team better than everybody, uh, yeah. coach. He doesn't feel emotion, so that's not going to affect him. <laughs> I think what I would do is I'd give him a multiple choice question. You know? <laughs> you know? And don't say all of the above, because uh, that's what he's choosing. My gosh. Rob Corddry here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show of HBO's Ballers and uh, Children's Hospital. How's that going for you? Good. Just We're from... editing the seventh season right now. Unbelievable. We're uh, nominated for an Emmy this season. Congratulations uh, on that. And I sometimes drive around town with my kids in the back, and I see you on the billboards with the creepy clown makeup. I apologize. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's, I apologize. I'm like, don't worry, son. It's okay. It's just a TV <laughs> it's a, show. It's not real. It's, it's not, not real. real. Close your eyes. <laughs> it's not, I know. But it's, it's, uh, it's good stuff. It's effective. <laughs> it is it's an effective, effective campaign. <laughs> it is. And uh, I saw, what was it like being uh, there for Jon Stewart's last show? Oh, my the Daily God. Show. You Rob, know what? What was that like? This is the first time I've been asked about it in this kind of forum, and oh, I great. still don't have words for it, really. The only thing I could say is that there was this one moment where I was backstage, 
uh, in a tiny hallway with 30 to 35 former correspondents, right? I was in the back, so I looking out on the sea, and we were about to go out and dance in front of Bruce Springsteen. And I was like, this is the moment you have to take a mental picture of mm -hmm. and figure out later, because uh, it was very, very meaningful and hard to define. Yeah. yeah, and and just sitting there and watching it, I felt how there was a bond with everybody there because yeah. of how you all got your start in a way, yeah. obviously, with him, with Jon Stewart. Mm -hmm. What was he? What was he like uh, in terms of mentoring at that point in time for you, Rob? Was oh. it, is that a, a fair way to call him? Oh that? yeah, yeah. I think that. But he was sort of like um, he didn't purposefully mentor anyone. He's got the he had the hardest job in showbiz at the time. But I would say that just by watching him do his job, mm -hmm. I learned how to write a joke. You know, I learned I learned how to be professional. I learned how to be a boss too. You know, he's. He's a pretty all-around good guy. Just in terms of management skills and yeah, talking to people? Yeah, yeah. He, what, he doesn't act like a boss, you know? Mm -hmm. But he also has the authority, and you know that, like, you know, everything, go, all the words that are on that show go through him. What, which, car, which piece did you do? What was your most awkward moment where you did a piece for The Daily Show? Oh, Rob? boy, yeah. I was in um, Hell's Kitchen in New York, and I forget what the piece was about. It was something about racism or something and mm -hmm. I had to uh, hail a cab dressed as Hitler <laughs> and so I you know I had to go hail a cab you had to like raise your arm yeah Didn't... now where did where did you do the dressing up like in, in the back of a car or was it somewhere <laughs> where you were Times literally Square, middle of Times Square <laughs> Oh, no. I like to do all my dressing in public. Yes, of course. Yeah, and I'm dressing. Right. Uh, but then uh, that's awkward. That was really awkward. awkward. Yeah. And then, he, then he there was something he was like, "Oh, we need this is hilarious. We need to get you to go out there and do that again, and go down here and ask these questions." And it was the first and only time I said no to Judd. I was like, "I'm not going to do it." To do it again. I'm not going to do that again. It was brutal. Wow. Yeah. And People didn't get it they didn't. on the street. <laughs> They did not see the humor in it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they needed, it's still too soon. They needed some context. They, they, <laughs> instead of having you out there. <laughs> I mean, uh, and so which other correspondent cracks you up the most from back in the day? Oh, my God. Because a lot of funny people. Oh, geez, man. That's the worst question ever. Well, I think the easiest answer is Stephen Colbert is one of the all around funniest guys I've ever met mm -hmm. in my life and managed, manages to not be intimidating. Um, Ed Helms, who I shared an office with for four or five years. What do you like, mean you shared an office? Like your, your actual room? We shared a room, yeah. And so I, I feel the closest to him probably. Mm -hmm. sure. And, and uh, he, he always made me laugh, you know? And then Jason Jones yeah. is that kind of guy who, <laughs> I think John called him like the sledgehammer at one point because, you know, you don't send a little, mm -hmm. a little tiny hammer to do a sledgehammer's work. Like that guy had no fear whatsoever. Yeah, he would just. And would ask anybody anything. Right. Wriggle too. Oh, Riggle, Riggle, of course. Riggle, you know? Riggle was a perfect addition to that show. He, came, he replaced me actually, I think. Did he? Yeah, he was, he was a perfect addition to that show because Riggle, nobody does what Riggle does. That's very specific mm -hmm. thing, and to to fit that in the Daily Show model right. was so good. It changed a lot of it. Like it changed. It was a different correspondent. Yeah, and he can be tased like no other individual. <laughs> he can take a tase <laughs> that like, was like a nobody else. Stupid idea. Uh, can you stick around for one? Yeah, brief on the second? for Trick. how long as you want. We are back in sixty ticks of the clock with Rob Corddry right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Don't go anywhere. We are back with more in a moment. Welcome back to The Rich Eisen Show. Rob Corddry of Ballers and HBO. Soon uh, to come back to a television near you for a second season. Nominated for an Emmy Award for Children's Hospital, which I'm excited for you for all of that. A lot of good Thank stuff you. going on. Uh, we had uh, Victor Cruz on earlier this week. Oh, yeah? He was a, he was a, a I guess, um, a co Star of yours for yes, a couple he of scenes. Probably you call couldn't him shut that? up about me either, <laughs> could he? Big fan of mine. <laughs> on Ballers. <laughs> Uh, he was on the show, and I asked him uh -oh. about acting with you. Really? Yes, I did. This was the response. Oh, no. 
Are you kidding? Did you watch the episodes? Yes. Rich, I'm carrying this man. Like, I'm really, I stole the show, in, in, in my opinion. Well, I mean, and maybe that's the way that you tweaked your calf, was carrying him, literally. <laughs> right, Victor? Uh, potentially. You never know. You never know. Rob's kind of heavy. He's gained a couple of pounds Ooh. since Ballers came up. Oh, ouch. Why would, why would he play you like that? I thought, why would he... I thought we were boys. I thought you were balling I know. I, he carried me? That's what he says. I guess sort of like the Giants O-line carries him. Mm. <laughs> Is that fair? No, no, Does I don't understand work? what I, I didn't understand what that meant. <laughs> that doesn't really but work. But the way you said it made it yeah, seem it, it, like that it was, was, yeah. It was done with authority. That's what I was doing, too. I was like, I liked hopefully it. this makes sense, but that play didn't work. Cool. No, but it, was, it made it sound like you were beasting back. Just add a bunch say. of laughs. Right. But he was he was a uh, good to have around the set. What, he was great. What, what, what who's who's come by that you've uh, enjoyed? Lamar Woodley. Um, there's been so many guys. Victor right. was the the guy that I had uh, a scene with. He was he was the one that I had my, most of my scenes with. Right. But um, uh, he uh, he's such a good guy and 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 a good actor too. Huh? Because he know, says that's what he wants to do when he's all done. He told me that. He told me that, and he he could do it. Usually, mm -hmm. I would. Um, Laugh at an athlete for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> because you can. Yeah. Because you can. Yeah. Have you uh, have you ever met Gronk? Have you ever met no, Gronkowski? No, but oh, I would love to. You should he get him on that show. Sounds like a good time. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think you know uh, uh, Wahlberg can can arrange that, right? I mean. Yeah. Right. He knows them all. He's got connections. He's he's, he's a Boston dude. He is that. He can. Um, Boy, he's I don't from know. With the padded. I would just love to have a conversation with that dude, and he can choose the subject. Well, he was sitting in that very chair about two months ago, and just talking about everything from his cereal to his book. <laughs> I want to ask to, him about physics. To, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I would love to ask him about physics. We're showing for the radio audience. We just showed his Gronk flakes on the screen right there. I mean, oh, he's is... got Gronk flakes. Rob. Oh, good for him. You know, it's about time. I know he's got the Gronk flakes, but <laughs> he's just of, of anybody to be out there in the NFL. That that might be the guy everybody wants to be, is Rob Gronkowski. Just yeah. to live your life like him. Live for, your for life a like day. him. The guy still lives in like a one bedroom apartment or something, right? And, and, yeah, with probably. all ninety five of his brothers. <laughs> they have a bus. They, they, have have a, a, they have a bus. They just they go have a bus. And party on. <laughs> Yeah, the Gronkowski bus. That's great. What, uh, what's it like working with Dwayne in Miami? Because that's kind of his town, right? Like, when yeah. you guys are shooting down there because you shoot on location, yeah. how do you do scenes without people yeah, just Yeah, he played with Sap. He played with Sap at the U back yeah. in the yeah, day. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah he's, he's the mayor of that city, you know? And it, usually they were smart about keeping us mm -hmm. away from major crowds, but, like, whenever somebody had the chance... They would go right to him. And I would always think, like, oh, the poor guy. Like, he's just, he doesn't have a, because I put it in a larger picture, and I'm like, he just never has a minute to himself. But he doesn't seem to mind it at all. He loves it. He's, you know, he's that likable on screen because he's a really likable guy. Yeah. Yeah. And he's got the eyebrow arch like nobody's business. He can arch an eyebrow. Not I mean, a lot of people can do that. No, I mean I've got it. I've got a little bit of on it. On one of them. And you've got one, but I can't. Uh, no, the other one. Doing on that I am one not. I'm not ambidextrous. When this it comes. is good. <laughs> you look I great. Got it. You do look great. You do look great. So uh, thanks for coming in, man. I, like I said, I'm a I'm a huge fan of yours. Even way back to the Daily Show days. Thank and, you. And I've been enjoying watching everything that you've been doing. I like when you come here and you and you do balling for oh. the show. That's good stuff. Well, that's yeah. That's I spend a lot of time on that commentary. I know. Uh, you're, you're, you're. I look at the stats. You're a good. I man. really sift through the stats and. Now, next time you come back here, do you do you think the Patriots are uh, going to be? Let's hope you come back when uh, next time during the football season. Mm -hmm. How well do you think your Patriots will be doing next time you sit here? What do I, you think? Well, if I sit here week three or four. Yeah. Uh, undetermined. <laughs> Say six or seven? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Up and running right Oh, there. yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. Did that, you just made that move oh, like you God. were hailing a cab in, in Hell's <laughs> Kitchen. Be careful. <laughs> careful, Rob. <laughs> Heil Belichick. <laughs> Thanks for coming in, man. Thank I really you, appreciate man. it. It was you great. Bet. Anytime. Uh, you bet. This is Rob Cordry right here at Rob Cordry on Twitter. Uh, and good luck. Take home that Emmy. Thank you. You bet. I hope so. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on audience.